The Clinical and Translational Science Institute here at uh, New York University is a virtual institute that, that spans the entire university, but our home is here at the School of Medicine. The mission of the institute, in terms of the overarching mission, is to translate research to better health. And what that really means is to break down silos where people were doing their own research in isolation and pulling them all together in this era of big data, in this era of taking questions from the bench and applying them to the bedside, from the bedside to the community, and also questions that arise in the community or at the bedside and taking them back to the bench and doing scientific discovery. We provide strong mentoring for our prospective uh, researchers. We provide specific training in a variety of skills that they will need to pursue different areas of translational research ranging from drug development to population health to healthcare delivery. And we believe that these areas of instruction are uh, critical for our needs as a, as a population going forward. In addition, we provide tools to help them better design their studies and to make their research more reproducible and uh, more rigorous. All of the choices that I've made through my training and, and now through my career using all of the resources that are available at the Institute at NYU has really transformed my career path. I came into medical school thinking that I would have one career path. I thought I was going to be a pediatrician working out in the practice. Throughout medical school and training, I realized that it wasn't something that I necessarily enjoyed as much. I'm now doing exactly what I love to do, which is interventional cardiology, treating patients in acute emergency settings, being able to, uh, to help them with something that I can do physically with my hands but also incorporating research and clinical translational research into my career is really, I'm 180 degrees from where I thought I was gonna be coming into medical school, but I have exactly the job that I wanted and I love. We designed a health literacy informed approach that I think is, is really novel and really helps parents understand how to give medications better. We are really trying to redesign the process by which the doctors communicate medication instructions to families. Um, and we've developed these low literacy medication instruction sheets that are patient specific and that are regimen specific that doctors can use when they're prescribing medications. They're really novel in that they are very easy to understand. They use pictures uh, to help convey important information. For example, a pictogram of a dosing tool with the right amount of medication inside of it. And that really helps providers do better counseling. When we were able to do that study with the CTSI funding, to see that we were able to replicate the results that we found in a more kind of experimental study in a real world setting, that was when I felt so excited that this was an intervention that we could then implement and disseminate in a much broader level across the United States. One of the key issues we face as, as a medical institution is the overriding need to be able to translate our basic research for the common good, to ease the burden of disease. That's what we're here for, that's our mission. The best way to do that is to commercialize it, to be able to translate it, to be able to protect it with intellectual property, to be able to bring in partners, um, whether they're from the pharmaceutical industry or creating new biotechs. The best way to actually translate our research is to develop therapeutics, medical devices, new approaches, new techniques. That requires that we have real partnerships with, with uh, big industries, small industries to start our own companies and to empower our postdocs, our residents, and our fellows to actually carry this forward. At the end of the day, when we're done um, as researchers and clinicians, we want to know that we've had a big impact on people's lives. And there's nothing more satisfying than knowing that, that your research led to either directly or indirectly the development of a device or a new therapeutic that is saving lives. That's what this is all about. That's why we're in this business. At NYU Langone, we really believe in the power of the scientific course and how they allow the democratization of science because all the investigators have access to all these technologies that otherwise they wouldn't have access to. And this includes the recent recruits, the youngest PIs, who wouldn't have the necessary budget to access these technologies. So we're enabling cutting edge science with the most young and creative minds that we recruit.
We believe that the future of, of our institute is, uh, is really rosy. We help to provide the, the tools and the underpinnings for New York University to be able to carry out the research that, uh, that will identify and hopefully help to resolve the, uh, the problems that we as a country and as the world uh, will be facing over the next uh, many years. One of the major impacts for the future of the Clinical and Translational Science Institute is continuing to bring all the stakeholders together that have not previously come together in the past and really advancing precision medicine to say what is the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. And I think that the platform of this institute will accelerate those advances.